Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, I am James, and welcome to China Discovery's official. China has once again shattered a world record. This time, it comes in the form of the largest diameter underwater tunnel ever built, completed in just 110 days. This extraordinary project is known as the Jinan Huanggang Yellow River Tunnel. It lies nearly 164 feet beneath the bed of the legendary Yellow River, with a tunnel boring diameter reaching approximately 57 feet. Not only is it the largest diameter tunnel of its kind in China, it is also the largest scale underwater tunnel anywhere in the world to be completed at such breathtaking speed. The question is obvious. How was China able to deliver a project of this magnitude so quickly? To understand why this tunnel matters, we need to look at the city it serves. This is Jinan, the capital of Shandong and one of Eastern China's most important economic hubs. Jinan faces a unique and urgent challenge, the mighty Yellow River often called the Mother River of Chinese civilization, cuts the city cleanly into two distinct halves. To the south lies the established urban core, densely developed and economically vibrant. To the north stands a national-level strategic pilot zone, envisioned as a future center for free trade, technological innovation, and administrative reform. With a current population of roughly 9.4 million people and rapid growth expected in the years ahead, Jinan urgently needed a reliable and long-term solution to connect its two sides. Until recently, movement across the river depended largely on existing bridges. Over time, this reliance led to severe traffic congestion, especially during peak hours, and raised serious concerns about long-term capacity and safety. The river that once gave birth to civilization had become a bottleneck for a modern megacity. This is the problem the Jinan Huanggang Yellow River Tunnel was built to solve. China faced two clear options build more bridges across the river, or tunnel beneath it. After careful evaluation, the decision was made to go underground. The reason lies in the nature of the Yellow River itself. This is China's second longest river and one of the most dangerous rivers in human history. For centuries, it has caused catastrophic floods, sweeping away entire communities and claiming countless lives. Because of this destructive history, it has long been known as the sorrow of China. To protect infrastructure and ensure public safety against natural disasters, an underground tunnel was identified as the safest and most reliable solution. No matter how strong a bridge may be, it remains vulnerable to historic floods and extreme hydraulic pressure caused by the Yellow River's heavy sediment buildup. Additional bridges would also disrupt river flow and navigation, creating long-term risks to both the ecological system and riverside economic activity. The Jinan Huanggang Tunnel was designed as a comprehensive and sustainable solution. Built entirely underground, it does not interfere with the natural flow of the Yellow River, does not obstruct river traffic, and remains fully protected during major flood events. The tunnel features a single tube structure divided into two levels, carrying a total of six traffic lanes, three in each direction. This clear separation reduces accident risk and maximizes traffic efficiency. The design speed is approximately 37 miles per hour, cutting cross-river travel time from around 30 minutes to just five minutes. This achievement turned the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel into a true game changer for millions of daily commuters and for how the city of Jinan manages its growing traffic demands. But building such a massive tunnel beneath the Yellow River required mastery of something even more challenging than geography. It required the most advanced tunneling technology in the world. In terms of scale, the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel is an engineering giant. The total project length reaches about three and a half miles of that. Roughly two miles were bored directly beneath the Yellow River using a tunnel boring machine. The excavation diameter measures an astonishing 57 feet, comparable to the height of a five-story building. To put that into perspective, this diameter is nearly twice that of many conventional urban tunnels and slightly larger than Bertha. The massive tunnel boring machine that once held the world diameter record in Seattle. The tunnel reaches a maximum depth of about 161 feet beneath the riverbed. During operation, it must withstand water pressure of up to roughly 110 pounds per square inch, with pressures inside the cutting chamber reaching nearly 220 pounds per square inch. These figures highlight the extreme technical demands of the project. The two-level design allows traffic to flow efficiently with one direction on the upper level and the opposite direction below, minimizing collision risk and ensuring maximum safety. Each precast concrete lining ring is manufactured with exceptional thickness and strength, tightly assembled to resist water and soil pressure and guarantee durability for decades to come. At the heart of this project is the tunnel boring machine known as Xinhe, 
the largest mixed shield machine ever built. It was manufactured by Herring Connect and assembled in China. Shanhe is not an ordinary machine. It stands as tall as a five-story building, weighs thousands of tons, and stretches the length of about 16 city buses lined up end to end. Its motor power reaches roughly 7,500 horsepower, with a maximum torque exceeding 25,800,000 pound-feet. This allows it to crush nearly any obstacle beneath the riverbed. What truly sets Shanhe apart is its mixed shield technology combined with an automatic air cushion pressure balancing system. This system uses slurry to stabilize the excavation face while maintaining perfect pressure balance between water and soil inside the cutting chamber. It is ideally suited for the Yellow River's complex geology and extreme water pressure. Inside the cutting chamber, Telescopic camera systems allow engineers to monitor cutter heads in real time without manual intervention in high pressure conditions. Shanhe is also equipped with artificial intelligence to predict geological changes and an Internet of Things monitoring system that tracks vibration and deformation in real time, ensuring safety and optimizing excavation performance. With an average advance rate of roughly 52 to 59 feet per day, Shanhe set a world record by achieving more than 4,580 feet of tunneling in a single month for a machine of this diameter. The machine also features a high-efficiency slurry discharge system to prevent clogging from sticky clay, along with specialized conveyor systems that continuously transport excavated material away from the tunnel face. Under normal circumstances, a tunnel of this scale and complexity would take many years, even decades, to complete in Jinan, the engineering clock moved at a very different speed. The extraordinary success of the Jinan Huanggang Yellow River Tunnel was not driven by the Shanhe Tunnel Boring Machine alone. It was the result of a powerful combination of advanced technology, disciplined project management, and the ability to solve some of the most complex engineering challenges imaginable. After completing the underriver section in just 110 days, the Tunnel Boring Machine proved its exceptional capability in conquering extreme geological conditions. The primary challenges beneath the Yellow River included constantly changing ground layers, sticky clay, flowing sand, heavy silt, and especially hard calcium nodules. These conditions are notorious for clogging slurry systems and damaging cutter heads. High water pressure, reaching roughly 110 pounds per square inch at depths close to 160 feet, posed a constant threat of flooding or face collapse. The tunnel also passed beneath flood control levees, protected water source zones, and sedimentation basins. This required extraordinarily strict environmental controls to prevent contamination of the Yellow River, a vital water source for millions of people. To overcome these risks, engineers implemented a series of targeted solutions. The cutter head configuration was optimized, with a higher opening ratio to reduce blockages caused by calcium nodules and sticky clay. The slurry treatment system was significantly upgraded, reaching a processing capacity of nearly 21,000 cubic feet per hour, representing a 50% improvement over conventional standards. Advanced filter press technology reduced slurry moisture content to below 30%, ensuring safe and environmentally compliant disposal. Three-dimensional hydrological simulations were used to predict water flow and pressure in advance, allowing excavation plans to be adjusted dynamically. At the same time, Agile project management methods were combined with building information modeling systems, enabling round-the-clock coordination among thousands of workers and machines. As a result, the entire under-river section was completed without any major incidents or serious accidents, an extraordinary achievement in underground construction. Beyond engineering, the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel delivers major economic and social impact. Economically, reducing cross-river travel time from 30 minutes to just five minutes dramatically improves logistics efficiency, lowers transportation costs, and strengthens trade and investment between the two sides of the river. The project is a key part of China's national strategy for ecological protection and high quality development along the Yellow River Basin, a region that accounts for roughly 13% of China's population and about 10% of national economic output. It also accelerates growth in the Northern Pilot Zone for new and old growth driver transformation. Positioning the area as a dynamic economic hub socially, the tunnel significantly eases traffic congestion, improves quality of life for residents of Jinan, and supports the northward expansion of the city. Internationally, the project strengthens China's leading position in large-scale underwater tunneling, demonstrating unmatched ability to deliver complex infrastructure at record speed.
often surpassing developed nations in efficiency. To better understand its scale, it is useful to compare Jinan Huanggang with major tunnel projects in the United States. One example is the SR-99 tunnel in Seattle, built to replace the Alaskan Way viaduct. Its tunnel boring machine, known as Bertha, had a similar diameter of roughly 57 feet. However, the project took more than four years to complete and exceeded cost estimates by over $200 million, partly due to the tunnel boring machine becoming stuck after striking an unidentified steel pipe. By contrast, the main underriver section of Jinan Huanggang was completed in just 110 days, highlighting a dramatic difference in time efficiency and execution. Another comparison is the Big Dig in Boston, one of the largest infrastructure projects in American history, with a total length of about three and a half miles. It took roughly 15 years to complete and saw costs escalate from an initial estimate of $2.8 billion to nearly $15 billion due to technical failures, corruption scandals, and even fatal accidents. The Big Dig relied heavily on cut and cover and immerse tube methods, which are far less efficient than the mixed shield tunnel boring technology used in Jinan. Even historic landmarks such as the Holland Tunnel and the Lincoln Tunnel, while engineering icons of their era, have diameters of only about 31 feet and required many years of manual construction, often at the cost of hundreds of lives. Jinan Huanggang, with nearly double the diameter and a vastly faster construction timeline, illustrates the dramatic advances in modern tunneling technology and worker safety. While American projects often prioritize long-term safety and durability, they are frequently slowed by complex approval processes and public disputes. Jinan Huanggang represents what many now call China speed, combining larger scale, lower cost, and shorter timelines through strong government coordination and technological self-reliance. In summary, the Jinan Huanggang Yellow River Tunnel stands as a defining symbol of China's civil engineering capability in the 21st century. By setting world records in both tunnel diameter and construction speed beneath one of the most challenging rivers on Earth, this project delivers lasting economic and social benefits for Jinan and the entire Yellow River Basin. More than that, it sends a powerful signal to the world. China has established itself as a global leader in large-scale infrastructure engineering, ready to overcome extreme geography and deliver breakthrough solutions that reshape how cities connect and grow.